in keeping with, with the great, great traditions of Hippocrates and our predecessors, we make, make these pledges for times of peace and times of crisis to our patients, our profession, and ourselves. I solemnly pledge to serve the sick and the vulnerable. I will, I will do, do no harm. harm. I will cherish the responsibility to heal those whose care is entrusted to me. I will alleviate suffering when I am able and provide comfort always. I will listen first and counsel second. I will be an ally to my patients and our community in the pursuit of our health and well-being. I will undertake this sacred profession with humility. I will always be truthful, recognize the limits of my knowledge without shame, and seek guidance when uncertain. I will follow my profession's ethical principles and my own dedication to virtue, focusing above all on the duties and obligations I have to each individual patient. I will, I will never, never turn, turn away a, a patient, patient in, need. in need. I will remember that much of health is shaped by structures of power, inequality, and discrimination, which cannot be corrected by the prescriber's pen or the, or the surgeon's, surgeon's scalpel. I will commit to being a voice for justice. I will recognize where a profession perpetuates injustice and will promote an equitable practice. I will provide care free from judgment and prejudice by working to uncover and correct my own biases. As physicians, we will maintain a lifelong desire to learn, challenge, and advance the armamentarium of medical knowledge to, to improve, improve patient, patient care. care. We will share that knowledge with those who come after us while maintaining the utmost respect for their integrity and passion. We will pay our teachers respect and gratitude. Our colleagues will be our family and we will honor them. Acknowledge the sacrifices that they make and lend them a helping hand. In times of peace and in times of crisis, we will strive to be the voice of sound scientific judgment. We will promote public health and safety and oppose anything that compromises humanity. We will recognize that we must make difficult decisions about resource distribution in times of crisis. Yet, we will afford every patient the dignity and respect of the human condition. We will remember that without tending to our own physical and mental health, we cannot tend to the suffering of others. We will advocate for the safety and well-being of one another in the face of cynicism and exhaustion. We will seek harmony between the practice of our art and the joy of our lives. With these, these words, words, from, from this, this point, point forward, forward, we bind ourselves together, together in the practices of medicine and surgery. I make these promises freely and upon my honor.